hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S3. We're going to take a look at how to remove root and go back to stock Android being Jelly Bean 4.3. So I'll just show you what I'm running first of all. We'll head on over into the settings and then down to about device. You can see the model number there being GT-i9300, Android version 4.1.2. And you can see the baseband version ending in BWELK1. Before we begin, I just want to point out that neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process. So do proceed at your own risk. With that in mind, I would always advise that you do a complete backup of your handset so you don't lose any data. With that out the way, the first thing that you need to do is head on over into developer options and make sure there's a tick next to USB debugging. Hit OK to the prompt here and then turn your device off. And once the device is off, you need to press power, volume down and the home button simultaneously until you get to download mode. We've got the warning on the screen here and we're going to press volume up to continue because we know what we're doing. And now we can plug in the device into our computer using the micro USB 2.0 port. Moving on to my computer here, you can see there's two files in the top right hand corner of my screen. The first one is for Odin 3 version 1.85. I will leave a link to this down in the description box if you do not already have it and the second file here is a zip file that you will need for the firmware android version 4.3 for this s3 once you've downloaded this unzip it i'm going to do one click on zip and it should start extracting it it's finished extracting now and it's displayed the contents of uh, the zip file and you can see that's the zip file that we're after the one ending in dot tar dot md5 so i'm just going to close down both these windows and bring in the extracted folder that it put on my desktop so here is the same file as we just saw we'll just come out of this and load up odin 3 i'll hit run to that little window and bring up odin here so it looks a little bit better now you'll notice the yellow com box here along the left hand side. If yours doesn't light up yellow or blue depending on what version of Odin you're running then there's a problem with communicating from your PC to your handset. So I would recommend try a different USB cable, maybe a different USB port, possibly one at the back of the computer. But if you've got the yellow com port you're ready to go. Leave absolutely everything as standard as it is. Put a tick next to where it says PDA then hit the PDA button and then locate the .tar.md5 file that is placed on our desktop. So here it is. Here's the .tar.md5 file. I'm going to hit open, then hit start. That's finished now and you can see Odin displays a green pass so we can exit out of this and remove the S3 from the computer. So I'll unplug the micro USB cable here and we'll let it do its thing. That took a couple of minutes to flash uh, the device and I'd only recommend doing this when you've got at least 80% battery. There we have it guys that's finished booting now that definitely took a couple of minutes so no matter how long it takes just leave it be we'll head on over into our settings here and you can see we've got the new tabbed style so we're going to go into about device and you can see the model number there android version here the baseband version here as well so if I tap on android version this is indeed 4.3 jelly bean if I come out of this then head on over into the application screen it's kept all my applications as they were grouped within the folders which is pretty good so yeah that's how easily you can unroot and install android jelly bean 4.3 on your samsung galaxy s3 as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw and if you found it informative then please do give us a like and if you haven't yet done so hit subscribe it's just down there it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos Videos. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.